So there's a lot of guys out there that still believe in the myth of trigger finger placement. They think you should always pull the trigger with the pad of your index finger, no matter what. As you can probably tell by my dismissive tone, that's not entirely true. The way that you pull the trigger is going to depend on the size and shape of your hands, and it's also going to depend on the gun that you're shooting. Your goal should be to pull the trigger in whatever way allows you to disturb your sight picture the least. The gun that I'm shooting right now is a Taurus G3 Toro with a red dot equipped, which should make for a pretty good demonstration of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to bring the camera closer and we'll take a look. So this is a Taurus G3 Toro. It's approximately the same size as a Glock 19. However, the grip is a little bit smaller in all dimensions. I'm a pretty big guy. I'm six foot four and I have fairly large hands. If I insist on pulling the trigger with the pad of my index finger, I can either contort my hand, which isn't very good, or I can rotate my grip a whole lot. And that's going to cost me recoil control, and it's also going to mess up my grip coming out of a holster. So I don't want to do that. If I pull the trigger in such a way that it causes me to contort my hand, it's going to have a noticeable impact on my sight alignment. Whereas if I pull in a more comfortable, neutral position for my hand, that's not going to happen. There's a great video on YouTube by Pat McNamara where he talks about sinking more finger on the trigger. He talks about how when he switched from shooting with the pad of his finger on the trigger to using his knuckle, his groups tightened up considerably. And I don't think he's saying that that's the only way to shoot. I think he's just offering it as a possibility, something to keep in mind. So Pat Mac is a very large guy, so it makes sense that he would have to wrap his finger around the trigger a little bit more to get that comfortable, neutral position when pulling the trigger. So hopefully you can see this if I focus on the red dot here. But if I pull the trigger with the pad of my index finger, I think you can see that the red dot is disturbed. It's easier to see with the red dot than with iron sights, but the effect on the gun is the same. Let's see if I can do that by, as Pat Mac would say, sinking more finger on the trigger. It's even worse in double action. Pull with the index finger. Pull with the knuckle. So hopefully you guys are able to see the difference and maybe understand why it doesn't actually make sense to always pull the trigger with the pad of your index finger. Pull the trigger so that you disturb the sights as little as possible. That is your only objective. All right, see you later.